Hello everyone and welcome back to the Minecraft 1.20 Let's Play. Last episode I made a kelp farm in the mountain and the factory here with some seaside stuff. Today I want to get some goats since it's an animal that I don't have yet and I could collect goat horns even though they are useless to me other than the collection value. But I want them to be on the very top of the mountain here because, well, they're mountain goats. So we'll get to building that soon but first I want to go back to the cartographer's workshop because in here we've got a map that I forgot about and even though it's not from the start of this world, I still think this first version would be a cool thing to put in the vault. See, I'm tying all kinds of stuff in here. Anyways, we'll need some maps and some emeralds. I'm not exactly sure how to do this, but I think I'd copy them like this, get some glass, and make that into panes to lock all of the maps. This is a lot of inventory space clogged up, but now I've got the locked copies and I can update the originals. Over in the swamp, we're uncovering the village just a little bit. In the cove, there's the ships that weren't on here, and the kelp farm from last episode. By the starter house and the farming district area, we've got the wool farm, and now to figure out how to put all of this back together. Again. But that's the map updated. It looks very developed, especially in the cove and the swampy village. And of course, there's some builds down there a little further that didn't get on the map. We still have the old version to display though, so let's go down to the vault, through the secret entrances. I'll start with some glass to have this on the pedestal instead of the wall. And there we have it, an original map set up in the last display case of the vault. One last thing I want to do with the maps though, is actually map the far side of the swamp out, so the buildings over there aren't left out. And we can hang them separate from the big map because I don't want to expand that one past 3x3. Three three. There we go. With that, there's been enough distractions. Let's get started on the material gathering. I want dried kelp blocks to make use of the farm that we built, which means I need to cart as much lava as possible over to the kelp farm, where I'll set up some kelp to cook. While waiting on that, let's chop some spruce. I need a lot more than this for the kelp blocks, but that's going to take a while. I didn't really think this through. But we've got lots of stone and andesite still in the chests to bring with me. I need to trade some berries with the butchers to buy bricks and some quartz. I actually need quite a lot of bricks, so I'll trade with the farmers to get some emeralds because it's much easier than going out and smelting clay. Another thing is bamboo. I haven't been in the bamboo farmhouse in a while, so it should be easy to get a good amount of blocks. Oh, not as much as I thought, but it still makes over a stack. While I'm in the area, I'll get some wool from here, again using the light grey, as well as some lime and yellow to bring some bright colours in. We've got the ability to use frog lights now that we've got frogs, so I'll just bring some ochre ones with me. We've got the materials, but not a way to get to the build site. This is going to be on the very tip top of the mountain, so that's a cold-ish biome. To get all the way up, I could just do a bubble elevator, but instead, since it's mountain goats, let's make an elaborate, kind of sketchy, rock path up the side. I'm sure I will not regret this at all. Let's start over here and make some stairs. Okay, I've made it about halfway up and it's already been a crazy path to make. Now I just have to get up this. Finally, we've reached the top and this is very crazy high up. Having to do the staircase really makes that more apparent, and I just can't wait to get goats up here. First though, I need more room to work. This is the highest point, but it's not very big, so let's actually fly back down and get some dirt that I should have brought with me in the first place. At least going back up, I can use the stairs. There are a lot of places where it's very easy to run off the edge though, which is by design, but I have to be careful running up these. Anyway, we made it, again. And I'll raise the ground by two blocks to make it safe and secure for any floor replacements that I want to do. And hopefully I can make this look pretty natural. <gasps> Oops, that is a long way to fall. I'm worried the sky beach here will do the same thing, but it looks like this is all sandstone for some reason. Okay, for the rest of the terrain on this mountain, this honestly doesn't look that out of place. I might fix it later, but I don't really need to. There's still some stuff to do to get this area ready for a build. I've laid out some beams, I'll build them up a couple blocks, and in between I'll start a foundation of cobblestone, using walls and full blocks so it has some indents and it's not so flat. On top of that, some regular stone to begin the walls, 
going up a couple of layers. Now that the base is down and we've got a start to this, let's keep building it up. We're back and the goat barn is finished up here in the sky. There's a lot less room outside the house than I thought there was going to be, so everything will be pretty much just inside. I tried to keep this one existing tree here for as long as possible, but it does need to come down for us to make the goat pens. To shield them from the snow, and also to keep them in the pen, I'm extending some spruce logs out to make an overhang, alternating between those and spruce slabs all the way to here. To start closing this in, I'll use andesite walls. On top of that, some spruce fences. My idea for making this at the highest level possible was that the ghosts won't jump out and escape because they have nowhere else to jump to, right? Other than off the edge and all the way down, I suppose. I might have to enclose this even more, depending on what they do. But we can still decorate this a bit with some glow berries and some oak trap doors in the ceiling so that they can at least see the sun a little bit. There we go. Now, we don't have a lot of room on this side, but if I extend the land some, we can add another little stall. This one definitely isn't as big as the other one, but it's still a nice little space for the goats to hang out. I don't know what I'm doing with this doorway because I can't have it open like this, unfortunately, because the goats would be getting out through here. I might use bamboo doors and a ton of trap doors to just cover this up. And of course, I'm one short. Hopefully this makes it boat proof in here. We'll see though. I don't think I'd be lucky enough to get any goats to spawn in this mini snowy area over here, but it's worth a shot. Okay, I've hung out around the area, mining ores, and I haven't seen a single goat, which means I've got to make the journey all the way to the cherry grove and the snowy mountains there. I really wish I had settled in an area that actually had stuff. Here, goats, it's your friendly neighborhood goat napper. Excuse me, I thought you were a goat. Ooh, a goat! Hello, goat, please get in the boat. Haha. -ha. Okay, enough shenanigans, I need to find you a friend. Yay, another goat! Okay, I need you both to come with me. All the way down the mountain. You guys can swim, right? Finally back home, now to get you two all the way up the mountain. We made it, it was terrifying, but both goats made it. Before I forget, let's grab some name tags and name them. Before going all the way back up, I'll harvest some wheat for them. These guys should now be despawn proof, so let's get them off the weeds. And breed them. A small goat, so cute. To continue feeding the goat herd, let's go out here and plant them a nice wheat field. Oh no, the water, it turns to ice. I should have known that. Hey, how did you get out here? I guess we do need more fences. And they're fixed. What, really? Again? Okay. The wheat field is set up, so next let's set up some storage around with some barrels and chests and some extinguished fires as extra lumber. I'll fill in the floor with coarse dirt, just to tear some out and replace it with rooted dirt. Pulling some to make some normal dirt, and a few muddy roots by the entryway. And maybe a little bit in the field back here. It's still very empty in here, so some more tables and things going along the walls. To do something different in this corner, we can have a little plant area with some leaves, and some plant pots. I'm also thinking this place could have a second floor, if I make some ladders and come up to this level. I want to do something slightly questionable and make a floor out of mangrove roots. Hopefully it will make sense when I'm done. So as you can see, I've covered most of the floor with carpet because we can't actually just have it be mangrove roots. This is also because I want to keep some snow golems up here and hopefully the goats can't get up and kill them, but I'm sure it's fine. Oh no, why is he dying? Crap, this might be a savanna biome. It is, that's why. Oh no, it's too warm. This whole thing is savanna except for this corner. Well, I can at least put a couple in here. They just have to be contained. Now, you guys aren't allowed to track snow everywhere, but you can chill on this floor out of the danger of rain and aggressive goats. The golems won't be wandering around here like I wanted, but I still need to decorate the walls. Mostly some stone brick tables and counters, keeping it pretty basic, with some terracotta and decorated pots in between. The last thing I want to do today is see if I can get a goat horn. To do that, the goat needs to charge me and hit a wall, but 
It has to be a naturally spawning block, so I think with the bottom walls being stone, it should be possible. A little longer than a few minutes later. Alright, I might have been mistaken. I've been here for a while trying to get a goat horn, and I haven't got one. But unfortunately, I can't continue this because that is all the time that I've got for today's video. We built a mountaintop goat barn in the sky, complete with some snow golems, and plenty of wheat for them. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.